Hi, I'm Tomer Itan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to deploy and configure the new Dell PowerStore CSI driver with NVMe over TCP connectivity. PowerStore OS version 2.1 extended NVMe benefits across the network with NVMe over TCP support. NVMe over TCP is much more efficient, parallel, and scalable than SCSI. This makes NVMe an efficient option to provide storage for dynamic, extensible, and flexible stateful applications running on Kubernetes. So before we start with the CSI driver installation, we need to make sure that our NVMe adapter is configured on my Kubernetes nodes and the NVMe modules are loaded. As you can see, the first installation attempt failed as the deployer detected that the NVMe modules are not loaded on the node. So now, let's give it another try and rerun the installation. During the deployment process, the installer verifies that all the prerequisites are met and our environment is configured properly. In addition, it automatically registers each Kubernetes node as an NVMe host on PowerStore. The installation was completed successfully. Both controller and node pods are up and running. The next step is creating a storage class in order to be able to dynamically consume storage from our PowerStore storage array using our CSI driver. Now that the storage class is created, we can create a new persistent volume claim by specifying the NVMe storage class and the requested capacity. Next, we create our application, which is basically a CentOS container connected to the PVC we've already provisioned. Within a few seconds, the pod is up and running, connected to its persistent volume, which is mapped to my Kubernetes worker node via NVMe over TCP protocol. As I've mentioned before, the hosts are automatically registered during the driver installation. If we describe the pod, we can see which node it is running on. And by navigating to Parstore Manager, we can see that the persistent volume is mapped to that host using NVMe connectivity. In addition, we can confirm that the volume name on Parstore matches the Kubernetes persistent volume name. By navigating to the worker node itself, we can list the NVMe devices using the NVMe list command and get useful information about the devices themselves. By combining the low latency networked storage offered by PowerStore using NVMe over TCP and the flexibility of the CSI plugin, organizations can provide an efficient, agile, and demand-driven storage solution for Kubernetes applications. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.